In this session, we will learn about the formula for sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic progression. So here, the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic progression will be n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. As we have learned earlier, a is the first term in the arithmetic progression and d is the common difference. where n is the number of terms in the series. So, we have the sum s of the first n terms of an arithmetic progression is n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. So, if we know the number of terms n, the first term and the common difference or the fixed value which we have learnt in the previous classes, if we know that we can calculate the sum of all the terms which are in arithmetic progression. Now, I will modify this formula and we will get a new one that we can do like this s is equal to n by 2 into this 2a I will write it as a plus a a plus a plus n minus 1 into d. In my previous session I have taught you that for finding an nth term of an ap that is represented with tn here the formula is a plus n minus 1 into d. That is, if you want to find out the second term of an arithmetic progression, then you will write t2 because n is 2, that is a plus 2 minus 1 into d, which is a plus t, or t3, any term, any nth term can be found out by using this formula. So, this whole thing, I will write it as sn is equal to n by 2 into a plus since this is the nth term if there are n terms that means the arithmetic progression ends with the nth term. So, the total number of terms in this AP is only n. So, the last term L can be found out by using this formula. What did I do here? Last term, I am writing it as L. How to find out what is the last term? Since there are only n terms here, the nth term will be a plus n minus 1 into d. That is this part. So, I am considering this as the last part. So, last term, I wrote it as L. I will write a plus L. So, sum of n terms of an AP is equal to n by 2, where n is the number of terms into a plus l where a is the first term and l is the last term. So, here you can use these two formulas that is s is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d when the common difference and the first term and the number of terms are given or you can use s is equal to n by 2 into a plus l where n is the number of terms, a is the first term and l is the last term. So, depending upon the problem, you can use either this formula or this formula. What are the first positive integers which are divisible by 6? 6, since he has asked sum. Next, after 6, 12 is the second positive integer divisible by 6. 18 plus 24, all these numbers will be divisible by 6. What is the last number? That is the 40th positive integer. It is 240. He is asked the sum of first 40 positive integers. So, the last number will be the 40th number, 40th positive integer which is divisible by 6. So, 6 into 40, it is 240. If you divide it by 6, you will get 240 by 6 is 40. So, this will be the 40th, I mean the last one. So, we have the sum of n terms which are in arithmetic progression is equal to 
n by 2 into a plus l. Is this series in AP? Yes. If you take a2 minus a1, that is second term minus first term, 12 minus 6 is 6 or a3 minus a2, any two consecutive values, that is 18 minus 12, which is equal to 6 or anything. Yes, this series is in AP. I can say here n is equal to 40 because the total number of integers is 40. The first term is 6. The last term is 240. So, I will write sum of first positive integers S40 is equal to 40 by 2 into 6 plus 240. So, I can write this as 40 by 2 into 246. 2 once 123. I can write this as 40 into 123. Now, this will be equal to 4 into 123 into 10. This 40, I wrote it as 4 into 10. So, simply I can write this as 4 into 1230. Finally, I will write this as 4920. So, the sum of first positive integers which are divisible by 6 is 4920. What we did? Initially, we know the series that is the first number which is divisible by 6 is 6, the second number is 12, the third number is 18, the last number is 240. How did we get 240 here? 6 into 40 is 240. So, we will have Sn is equal to n by 2 into a plus l. This is the formula for sum of n numbers which are in AP. So, I know that a is 6 and l is 240, number of terms is 40. So, I substituted these values here. Finally, I got the sum as 4920. Thank you. If you like the video, please hit the like button, comment and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe for all our future videos.